This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hello and welcome to Perfect Person, the show where I'm perfect and you're, of course, a person... Chips and salsa are back. <laughs> I've been having chips and salsa as a snack to have on the nightly. And some might be like, oh, you open a bag of chips and they get stale the next day. But guess what? Not if you eat the bag all at once when you open it. And salsa is good to have. You put some in a bowl and you seal it up, put it back in the fridge as a snack for later. And another thing. You can dip so many different things into salsa. Pita, for one, is nice to have in a salsa. Today's a very special episode, ladies and gentlemen. The Bachelor episode from last time that we did was an absolute hoot and a half. People loved it. It was a fan favorite, and I had to simply bring it back because love is in the air. Love is all around us. That's the way it goes. Christmas is around us. So, um, I obviously had three bachelors, and uh, that it was really good. It was good to have those three guys on the show. Um, and so we decided to do the episode again, and I thought, who should I have on the show? And I'm really excited for the slate of guys we've got on this week. Um, and I just like to introduce them one by one. We will be taking live calls from eligible singles, calling into the show for a piece of that ass. Introducing. Bachelor number one hails from New Yorkie. He is currently off ship. <laughs> and he is ready to find a single to take him to the bank. He's really good at editing on the computer. And he was featured in an episode of Dateline, NBC. Eric Striffler, welcome to the show. I'm feeling I'm feeling great, Miles. Where have you been since we last saw you on the show? I've been all over Miles. I live in a van, of course. This yeah. is a warning to all the women out there. And <laughs> I... <laughs> sorry, sorry, that doesn't. That does not... <laughs> you know, you don't normally hear the guy in the van warning the women about the guy in the van. Normally, it's the, it's that girl's friend. I'm something of a feminist. What can I say? <laughs> No, I, as, no, genuinely, I'm very excited for this. The last one was very fun, and um, I was exhausted last time. Yeah. I'm ready this time. Sure. I just got a good night's sleep, as we've discussed. Yeah, as you know, Miles, uh, yeah. for, for a while now, I've been looking to settle down. That's something everybody knows about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're canonically a guy that you're a relationship guy. <laughs> Absolutely, relationship guy for sure. Yeah, you're yeah. definitely not sort of going town to town seeing where you can put it. Introducing bachelor number two. He hails, of course, <laughs> from Colorado. <laughs> what camera are we even going to? <laughs> he hails from Colorado. And he could be more excited to be on the show. Will Whitwer is, of course, five foot one of pure muscle. <laughs> I'm five eight and I have underdeveloped muscles, so it's sort of the opposite. <laughs> Uh, what's up, y'all? You know, oh, back from y'all, back from shore leave. Um, no, 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 we're on shore leave. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's Fleet Week. It's Fleet it's Week. <laughs> now, of course, you are also dressed in a sailor costume to signify that week when sailors uh, sort of um, go on their hoe phase. <laughs> I, well, to be honest, I think sailors are always on their hoe phase, like historically speaking. Yeah, because you're gone for years. And, you know, there's all these stories of, like, you know, sailors going to whorehouses and getting venereal diseases. Okay. It sounds like it was pretty okay. fun. All it right. sounds like it was pretty fun. See, again, you're, that's that classic Will Bell curve. <laughs> <laughs> Starts charming and ends in the, in the dumper. Where have you been since we last saw you on the show? You, 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 haven't, you weren't able to find love successfully on the last episode. I think you did. <laughs> Well, you Everybody did once, did. but you never sort of consummated the relationship. Yeah, I never followed up. Uh, <laughs> and no, you know, I haven't been that many places. I've been the same, you know, uh, following, uh, you know, last time I was on the show, we were uh, looking at uh, into Dua Lipa's uh, various new posts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will was on the Platinum episode. Like a week ago. Um, Will was on the Platinum episode. That said, you know, I don't have any big updates. You know, I'm just here. I'm here <clears throat> uh, interested to, to meet some eligible bachelorettes. And what are you looking for in a lady? You know... 
I want somebody who knows that the C is always going to be my number one priority. I love that. Wow. Absolutely. I love that. Really wise. Yeah, thank you. Really wise to say. Well, I figure now is as good a time as any to introduce Bachelor number three. He hails from Charlotte, North Carolina. What camera is he possibly looking at? He's fucking back to the main camera, the only camera that can see him. Cut it. His head is cut off. His head is cut off. He's in the wrong place, looking at the wrong light. He's shaking my hand for some reason. Jay Putnam. Jay Putnam off mic. Get in, get on mic. Get, get this song starting over. This song started over. Jay Putnam, welcome to the show. You're obviously a, a bad off. You're obviously a fan favorite, sort of a, a class hunk. Everyone mm-hmm. wants a little piece of that. Now, Jay, uh, how have you been since we last saw you? I've been really great. That's it? I mean, yeah, you asked how. Yeah, I've been good. I've You're been... pretty talkative off mic for somebody who has nothing to say now. Well, know? here's the thing. It was yeah. just so fun. Miles, watching you do what you do is just an honest, it's a gift. Wow. Honestly, yeah. Jay, buttering my bread before it's even out of the toaster. <laughs> totally. It's, it's dangerous. He's sticking the knife into the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> the knife could shock me, but honestly, I'm here for the, the danger. It melts the butter way better. <laughs> There's a hole in my pants. Hey, those are going back, man. Those are going Be back careful. to Amazon right after this. Yeah. Um, I've been great, you know. I'm happy to be here with these people. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I've been on my own sort of sea voyage. It, ah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, no. honestly oh my god. got pretty nervous. Yeah. Got a little nervous. Got a little nervous there. Yeah. That's what that was. Now, Jay, um, before we get started here, now you've got some competition on the show today. Do you want to size up any of uh, your fellow <laughs> bachelors here? Uh, the floor is yours. Size them up? Yeah, like how you think you're going to do today when you see the, the how these two guys are looking. Honestly, next to me are two lovely, wow, kind-hearted, wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. funny people. Yeah, he's playing the game right. I think, man, I'm lucky to know him. He's here to make friends. I'm here to make friends. Mm-hmm. I'm here at uh, TLDR. Oh, no, no, you did not. No, he fucked it up. He didn't say it right. <laughs> hey, Eric. <laughs> Eric, anything to add about your fellow bachelors? Um, no, yeah. I, I mean, I, I absolutely bombed last time, and these guys crushed me. So. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I think it Miles can tell you it's true. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Are I, you kidding? I was exhausted. Yeah. I didn't even know where I was. You did get the villain edit, I would say. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I played the villain. Yeah. This time, this time, I'm absolutely gunning for the gold. Yeah, uh, I did. By the way, some uh, friends that listen to the show, they did text and they said it was absolutely hilarious to hear me like acting as if I was like looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> they, like that's how you introduced us, and they were like, "I can't even take this serious." <laughs> this guy's well, not looking for love. He's yeah. looking for a good time. I'm looking for a good time, not a long time. Correct. Well, now hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what does that imply? Yeah, it's interesting. Will, um, before we get started, <laughs> would you like to size up your fellow bachelorinos? Yeah, I mean, you know, as I said on the last one, I, I am, of course, intimidated. We've got uh, two verifiable hunks uh, on to it's my Will. right and to my left. Um, Pretty sure Will won immediately last time. <laughs> but that <laughs> said, I mean, you know, this is kind of a validating experience for me in that, like, oh, when I've been in the comments, people are just really nice. Yeah, uh, and right. I am looking for love, but I don't see these phone dates, which feel very contrived necessarily <clears throat> as cut my that, cut entryway. <laughs> Gonna cut that, cut that, please. <laughs> but that said, I mean, I you know I want to uh, keep an open mind, and yeah, um, that's good. as long as she loves the sea, I think we'll be okay. And an open heart, contractually, and open legs. It helps the. Okay, villain edit. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, what's villainous about making love? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's a actually that's uh, a good point. Fair point. That's a good fair uh, point. So nothing maybe a, a villainous. Song. There might be a song there. There's nothing villainous about making love. Nothing villainous about making love. When I shower you with affection, I'm gonna get an erection. Well, we are just about out of time for the <laughs> intro, <laughs> so we better get into the regular episode here by this making is the regular episode. No, I understand. We might get <laughs> into the episode here by taking a call and getting that nasty in because you guys have some dates to go on mm-hmm. and it's absolutely going to be hot. It is going to be steamy. It is going to be electric. I have to say that I am quite uncomfortable in this outfit that feels like it was made of plastic. 100%. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Just want to throw that out there. Speaking of the sea, if you put this into the ocean, it would kill probably a thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's ninety nine percent microplastics. Right. Um, well, uh, before we even get into the calls, before we get into the steamy dates, it's important oh, for everyone yeah. to know at home that if you like the show, you can subscribe and fucking uh, rate the show on whatever <laughs> platform so you don't miss a single episode. And by the way, we're super close to 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, so would no love way. if you could uh, subscribe Ring on YouTube. Ring that bell. So and also, that. Miles told a story about how he was pranked twice in one night at a friend's oh, birthday party. Oh, it's actually an incredible wait, wait, story. Wait, wait, literally story. the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Go and watch that. If you love the show and you cannot get enough, then you can listen to that episode episode, uh, which is the extended version of this episode, as well as bonus episodes every single Friday <laughs> on the Patreon, where you can get that ad-free extended version, you can get that bonus, you can get that good, good. There's mm. a fucking ton of content on there already. You can subscribe, and you can listen to all of it in a single week if you wanted to. And I appreciate everyone for listening to the show. So we've got to get oh, into baby. it. Here we go. All right. Hi, Miles. Um, I... I guess I'm looking for like someone that's mature, but also isn't afraid to like have some fun, you know, be a little goofy. Maybe someone's into art or like music. I like to sing. So maybe someone that does like karaoke or something fun like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm pretty open. Call me back. Bye. Okay. A lot of interest, a lot of irons in the fire there. So we're going to give this person a call back and we are going to give them the night of their lives. <laughs> a dog and a bone. Peanut butter and jam. These are iconic duos. But what about the perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? That's going to be you and Shopify. Ah! Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, do we just need a million orders stage? Shopify's there to help you grow. Whether you're selling a really nice grilled cheese sandwich or an entire outfit made out of balloons, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From our all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered, baby. I'm an entrepreneur, which means that I rely on all sorts of different services and products to help me run my business. To help me be a mogul, I need to make sure I can rely and trust the services I use to help the business grease the wheels. And Shopify is the best of them because it can scale with you as you go from when you're selling one outfit made out of balloons to all the way when you're selling balloons on a shipping truck worldwide all across everybody buying your balloon outfits en masse. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklyn and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash perfect person, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash perfect person now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash perfect person. If you're selling something, then you gotta check out my buddies at Shopify. Did you know that nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? Yeah. And rocket money is actually gonna shoot a rocket into your brain space so you can save cash and have more cash to spend. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I get little emails that are like, hey, you've spent this amount more this month than you did spend last month and like this amount less. It helps me kind of budget a little bit clearer. And as soon as I signed up for Rocket Money, I saved the price of Rocket Money by it being like, hey, you have a subscription you've been paying for for a while and you forgot about it because it's on a weird credit card that you don't really use that much and you're not paying attention to in miles. We're going to cancel it for you. If I see a subscription I don't want anymore, I can cancel it through Rocket Money in a couple taps. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. That's rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. Rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. Oh, 
shit. You call a perfect person, and I'm here to call you back because I've got three eligible hunks <laughs> on the line. <laughs> <laughs> we all just salute when you do that. That's right. We've got three sailors home on sailor leave. Shore leave. And they are ready to answer your shore leave. Because um, the shore leave, they're going to uh, be the key to your heart. Oh, my Lord. We are going to need a fake name for you, Will. Let's get a fake name. Uh, Let's go with <clears throat> Oak. Oak. <laughs> the sexiest Oak. wood there is. <laughs> Oak, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for in a lover before I get you on these speed dates? <laughs> well, I'm going to preface this by saying I'm currently in the car with my dad. Uh, oh, can we, get dad can we get dad on the phone? Is dad on the phone there as well? Do you want? Okay, sure, sure. Let me. We, right. we can meet the dad for the first time. Yeah. Okay. This is, this, is, this is perfect. Mr. Oak, are you there? <laughs> Mr. Oak. Yeah, don't oh. say your real name. Oh, then yes. No joke. It's Oak. Mr. Oh, Oak. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mr. Oak. Mr. Oak, we absolutely, it is an honor to um, have three eligible bachelors here to oh. attempt to date your daughter. But first, <laughs> I think before we even get to the date, we'd like each of them to meet you uh, to see if you approve of them or not. Um, before they even, and then you can give your blessing to them to go and date the daughter. Um, Mr. Oak, what what are the qualities that you're looking for in an eligible uh, lover for your daughter? Well, first thing comes to mind is perhaps castration, but yeah, <laughs> you want them to be castra castrated. Are they shrinking away now? Yeah, they're shrinking away. You intimidated the room, I yeah, think. For sure, yeah. So beyond castration, so no balls. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This sort of quality. Correct. Just sure. reset, 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 guys, just, just sort guys, of, reset so Miles can edit. <laughs> and just sort of just sort of just sort of just sort of qualities, wow. you know, just sort of regular qualities. You're, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, down to earth. Sure. We'd like down to earth. <laughs> That's good. Such an incredible follow up from Castration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got it. Down to earth. Well, um, I think I've got just the guy That's for fun. you here. Um, we have Bachelor Number One who is ready to meet Dad, Mister Oak. Please introduce yourself, uh, Bachelor Number One. Mister Oak, it's it's wonderful to meet you. And nice to meet you, Bachelor Number One. Thank you so much. Uh, How's the how's the day? Well, it's a glorious day. Is it? We like it. Yeah, yeah. What's making it so glorious? Well, the uh, the serendipity of a, a an unexpected phone call. That's actually quite lovely. That's, That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And now, Mister Oak, um, <laughs> do you have any questions for Bachelor Number One? Uh, to get to know him a little bit better, to, to so make sure he has good intentions with your daughter. Okay, bachelor number one. Um, bachelor number one. <laughs> yes, sir. What, what is the number one way you would communicate that you value my daughter? <laughs> that's actually, that's a very good question, uh, Mr. Oak. Um, I think first and foremost <laughs> is to be very communicative, be very open, <laughs> yeah. very honest yeah. with one another. Sure. I think first and foremost, I think a lot of people right now just don't communicate. Yeah. And I think that's rude. I sure. think it's keeping an open line of communication. Make sure everybody's on the same page. That's right. Feeling safe and 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 excited to be with one another, doing fun stuff and and having And what's and uh, fun stuff? What do you mean, Jay? What do going you mean? Going to museums. Fun? Museums. Going to uh, hang out and grab coffees, exploring new places. How's he doing so far, Mr. Oak? <laughs> Uh, well, I think he was back on his heels at the initial uh, response, but he was recovered nicely. Okay, that's well, that's good to hear. Honestly, it's a fair, it's a fair assessment. Well, Mr. Oak, get ready to meet Bachelor Number Two. Thank Bachelor you, Mr. Number Oak. Number Two, why don't you introduce yourself and tell Mr. Oak what some of your interests are? Uh, what's going on, Mr. Oak? My name is Will Whitwer. Um, I love chatting and watching anime and uh, uh, I guess uh, smoking marijuana. But if that may not be something you like, but that's something I like to do. 
<laughs> it's legal in California, for the record. Yes, um, he's not a criminal. <laughs> I'm not a criminal, and I've never been one. And, what um, are, what, and well, what is one of the things, to Mr. Oaken, know? Once you get stoned, what are, what are you sort of up to after that? Well, I typically have about the stupidest thoughts in the world. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, I haven't done a cartwheel since I was 11. You know? <laughs> like, things like that. Like, did you do a cartwheel? No. Ah. Could you do a cartwheel right now? I'm not. I was never good, even as a child. Could you try to do a cartwheel? And Mr. Oak, I'll tell you how he does. So Will's gonna get <laughs> up. He's gonna try to. He's gonna try to do a cartwheel. Yeah, but is this after being stoned or not? No, he's not. No, he's not stoned, he's stoned right now. Not after no. being stoned, then it wouldn't really count. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. That's true. He might be stoned. There's really no way to tell for sure. But he's him. okay, Mr. Oak. He's going over. He's, <laughs> he's starting his it. mount. He's going for it. He's starting for it. He's going for the mount. Okay, he tries. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, it was a one and a half. It was more of a spin, I would say, than it was more of a spin. It was a hand plant spin. Than, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hand plant spin. So, uh, Mr. He took Oak, off his hat for that. He did. He certainly did. How, how's he doing in your eyes so far? To Is he eligible to ravage your daughter? <laughs> well, the ravaging would be up to her, but... <laughs> I, I'd say bachelor number two, even though his head is in the clouds a little bit, is pretty well grounded. I like that. So number two, sure. Okay, good. Hell yeah, thank you, That's Mr. That's awesome. Oak. Okay, we've got Mr. Oak, you've been doing so well so far. Now we've got one final bachelor for you to approve of before we get them to go on a date with your lovely daughter. All three. Now, <laughs> all three of them are going to go on a group date. <laughs> now, um, Eric Striffler, would you please introduce yourself to the lovely bachelorinos' father? Hi, Mr. Oak. Dude, you look so familiar. Have we met? I, I, I'm sure we have it. Are you sure? But your voice is so familiar. Your face is so familiar. Are you sure we haven't met? Very <laughs> crazy. Stone. You don't. You don't by any chance know uh, Nate. There are lots of people named Nate in the world. I do know a few of them. I swear. I swear. I've seen you before. You don't remember. You don't remember Nate's barbecue, <laughs> Eric. This is crazy. <laughs> A crazy approach to have been told no twice and insist. You're a fucking crazy person. Well, anyway, uh, uh, Mr. Oak, it is. Well, it's nice to see you again. Yeah. And Eric, why don't you let Mr. Oak know where you live? In a van. Yeah. Doesn't Sir, we, we must yes, have, no, we must have lost connection. Yeah, we must have lost connection because we can hear sort of this quiet stuff in the background, but we can't hear your voice. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so per perhaps in in another time and in another life, we have met. Now, Mr. Rogue, if you could just rank the three bachelors um, <laughs> from best to worst, and then we'd love to get get them on a date with your daughter. All right. Well. Yeah, Sebastian number three, I know less about you than when we first began. <laughs> uh, that's Honestly, that's a good way to describe me. <laughs> and uh, Bachelor number two, uh, I I appreciate the authentic uh, start there. Bachelor number one, so I would I would go Bachelor number two in in the first order. Bachelor number one in the second order. Bachelor number three, well, better luck next time. <laughs> All right. Wow. And that is exactly the order that we are going to go in reverse to date with your daughter. But just so you guys know, as you're on the date, daddy's going to be there the whole time. Oh my God. So bachelor right. number three. Oh now, my God. now, Mrs. Oak, um, are you still there? Mrs. Oak. <laughs> I hope it's Ms. Ms. Sorry, Ms. Oak. Ms. Oak, you still there? We're not from the South. It's not that kind of family. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, um, this guy's on fire. Oak, now, uh, are you still there? How do you think each of those guys did with your daddy? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> that was just so in the pocket right now. It's um, crazy. <laughs> I think generally it could have gone better. <laughs> it could have gone better. I think that's yeah, all okay, but hold on, hold on. Hold on. In fairness, in fairness, Oak, how often do you meet the dad before the date. <laughs> totally. Daddy daughter dance. Yeah, you daddy, have a point. Dance. I guess if, point. I guess if I were the DJ at a daddy daughter dance, I might meet the daddy before the daughter. DJ <laughs> at a daddy, daddy daughter, daughter dance. dance. Uh, uh, DJ uh, at a daddy uh, daughter uh, dance. Uh, uh. Man, it's a drag of a song. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, it is a sad song. It's a bummer of a song. I man. will say I think it's easier generally for parents and dads specifically to like like a partner if they're like 
their loved ones as I like this person. Yeah, we don't have any approval from sure. the daughter right. yet. Yeah, yeah. It's like people yeah. he's bumping into, <laughs> bumping into in the grocery store. Yeah, no, it's just and who insists they know you. You that moment Some when weird fugue state. Three eligible men approach your dad asking if he can approve of them. Um, well, Oak, uh, I'm going to set you on a little speed date here where you and Bachelor number three are going to learn about each other as much as possible in exactly 100 seconds. Okay. Okay. So we are starting on the clock here and let's go begin. That's on number three. Take it away. Do what? What do you mean, do date. what? Eric, Get to date. date. You're on a date. I thought, it was, I thought you said speed dating. It, it is speed dating. Oh, you might, shit. You have, have we started? Yes, 90 seconds left. Oak, Oak, has your dad ever been to the gold room? <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to figure out where he knows your dad from. <laughs> I swear to God. Has your dad ever been? You know the gold room? No, I don't think Ask so. Ask your dad if he knows the gold room. Nate at the gold room. I think we gotta move on. He's how just, much time do I have left? Sixty seconds. Uh, Oak, uh, what? How are you? I'm fine. How are okay, you? I'm fine. I'm just so it's driving me crazy where I recognize your dad from. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I swear. Where are you going? That's cr- what did you say? Where are you? Go- are you guys driving right now? Thirty seconds okay. left. Yeah. <laughs> Are you driving right now? Yeah, we're driving. Okay, okay, incredible. Yeah. What, did, what did you get at the store? What store were you at, by the way? Oh, uh, we were at Office Max. <laughs> Office Max. Oh, my God. Wait, that is not what I expected. What were you getting supplies for? Getting a print of a painting done. That's where I know him from. Your dad's a painter. <laughs> Your dad's a painter that has <laughs> painted. He paints at the Gold Room on Thursdays. No. And time up. Now, uh, Oak, I'm going to give you... I need you guys to do me a favor and, and find out where I'm gonna, I know. I'm going to give you the option, Oak, and this is 100% <laughs> up to you. Do you want to extend the date by 30 more seconds? Mm, I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, ask, but ask her dad. Copy that. Ask hey, dad. Dad, dad. Oh, dad. You can get the parental override. Do you want to extend the date with Bachelor number three by 30 seconds? Please, please. No, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Copy that. Thank you so much. All right, Bachelor number three seems to be eliminated from the conversation, (laughs) at least for now. (laughs) Um, Now we're going to go on a date with Bachelor number one in the middle spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. He's in the middle spot. Um, Oak, are you ready for another date with Bachelor number one? This is with Jay. Jay, is that his name? Yes, that's Jay's name. Jay. (laughs) Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, okay, interesting start. And Jay, remember, you're trying to learn everything you can. And Bachelor number, <laughs> excuse me, Oak, uh, you're going to want to learn everything you can about Jay so you can make an assumption if you want to be with him for the rest of your life. Make an assumption. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, All right. And here we go. <sighs> I, what a whirlwind of a day. <laughs> it's, uh, you're telling me. It's absolutely been crazy. How you, how you doing? I'm as good as I would. That's okay. Not as good as me? I mean, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, what is the print that you're getting? What was the print that you're getting made? Hey, that's not oh. fair. That's not fair. He wasn't on foul. my date. Sorry. Hold foul. on. Pause. Pause. Foul. Pause. Foul. Foul. Pause. He wasn't on my date. He has hey, to start Jay. from scratch and ask what she's doing. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to no. give Jay a penalty kick. Thank you. No, he gets the kick. He gets the penalty kick. Wait, what the fuck? Will I kick Jay? Get the penalty kick, kick, kick Jay. Kick Jay. <laughs> oh God, that's gonna hurt. Penalty kick on Jay. Hey Jay, He's got just bony. so you know, if I can jump Eagles. in here, Jay, this isn't going well. <laughs> and you've got 70 seconds left to try to make Oak like you enough to want to let you careful. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Dater. watch out. Okay. Uh, oh, tell me about like what kind of movies you like. I've been watching a lot of rom coms recently. Love a rom com. Which ones? Oh man. Um, I'll be honest. I haven't been watching any like classic rom coms. Like, I don't think I've ever seen like The Notebook or what's me the one neither. with the remote. I've never seen uh or Click. Is the one with the remote? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also <laughs> love all the old Nora Ephron ones. I'm still getting to know people. I'm still getting to know. Have you seen like You've Got Mail, When Harry Met Sally? Those are great ones. I ha- yeah, but when Harry Met Sally is a classic, classic. I do that one a lot. Ugh, same. Um, what kind of other? <laughs> Five seconds left. Five oh. seconds. Okay, what's your favorite movie? 
Oh, God. Time, 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 time. Never mind. Never mind. Answer. Don't no. answer. What'd you Don't say? Don't answer. Do you want... Now, Oak, I'm going to give you the option. Do you want to extend, <laughs> do you want to extend the date by 30 seconds? I feel like only to repeat my answer. That's a yes. <laughs> All right. We got a 30-second rebuttal here. And Jay, take it away. <laughs> okay. So tell me about your favorite movie. I don't know. It's like, tell me um, more about it. I mean, what I said initially was Megamind. I'm not sure if I 100% wow. agree with myself That's on that. Sorry. Pause, pause, Jay, pause. Can Jay pause. revoke? Pause. 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 Can Jay revoke the 30 sorry, seconds? Pause. Pause. Jay, would you like to revoke the 30 <laughs> seconds? I actually have something to say about Megamind. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Okay. Keep All it right. going, Miles. H also, like, hey, you're Oak? messing, honestly, Miles, you're messing with the flow. All yeah. Right. Copy that, yeah. Jay. Continue. So, actually, the other day, I saw a commercial for Megamind on Peacock.com. Sorry, pause. <laughs> Hey, pause. Jay, what? that wasn't worth it. You want me to plug? No, I'm not plugging it. And by Jay, the way, by are the you way, sponsored by <laughs> Megan? <Megamind laughs> he, he, he saw a commercial for the new TV series that they did, not the movie. No, it was for the movies. It was for the movies that are on Peacock. There you have said you can't movie? keep plugging Peacock for free. I'm not plugging Peacock. I'm just <laughs> wanting to say, like, oh, my God, that's crazy. He's going to like, that. I wonder if Mega Mind is good again. Like, Ten still, seconds left. And I'm gonna, You started again? So I think that's crazy how that, you know, now we're talking about Mega Mind. That's honestly crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> oh. hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like love is in the air. <laughs> I can sense a spark. I can definitely sense a spark. Do you smell it? Do you smell <laughs> Oak, that was a question for you. I think. No, it wasn't. It's not my time. Oh, my God. time is up. My time is up. Hey, Dad, can we ask Dad just a vibe check in the room? Well, we've lost uh, all the oxygen out of the room. Are you guys in a spaceship? <laughs> Are you guys okay? Are you in a boat that's capsizing? Because <laughs> we can help you. Yeah. We got three sailors on deck. He's just trying to drive around, and I'm not sure where he's going. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes it's so nice, the simplicity of just pulling the windows down, going for a drive, music blaring. Well, it's not a, music, it's three, us Three blaring. strangers talking. <laughs> Sonorous voices. All right. <laughs> well, Oak, we've got one final date for you, and you know that it's got to be the king himself, Will Whitwer. <laughs> And I want you guys to learn everything you can about each other. If you're compatibly intellectually, culturally, sexually, in a hundred seconds, we're going to be finding out a whole, whole lot. Ugh. All right. Will? Yeah. Begin. Uh, hey, how's it going? Um, uh, um, how... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's too much pressure. 90 seconds. I, okay. <laughs> I can ask you a question. Yeah, why don't you ask a question? I would love to hear your question. Classic. What, what would you say with your free time? Uh, what do I do with my free time? I don't necessarily use it super well, I will say. I, I uh, People are making some aggressive <laughs> weed smoking <laughs> gestures and sounds. That's not the only thing I do. I do other stuff. But uh, the... I'm not convinced. I'll I go honest. I go to a lot of movies. I see I see a lot of movies in the theater. That's like one of the things I really enjoy the most. I enjoy the experience of being transported away. Um Okay, and, so how do you feel about a movie date? I like a movie date. I just don't think it's a good first date. Because <laughs> because hey, thank you. Yes. No, because it's it's like you're not talking to each other. The whole point of a first date is to have 100%. a conversation. And you can do that on date two or three. But but day one is like no we're supposed to be looking each other in the eyes and being like you know having a having a nice time like a movie is not that and if you're trying to talk during a movie it makes you want to die so it's like <laughs> I'm gonna be silent and if you're like trying to make Valid. comments to me I'm gonna be like well this is this date's not working you know um, <laughs> that's super real but yeah like Agreed. I don't do anything that exciting I'd like to develop uh, more hobbies and stuff uh, I hate to butt in because this is. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to butt in. It's like her ex showing up. <laughs> hey, 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 I guys. hate to interrupt. I was we're noticing. Closing. We're closing in five seconds. Hey. Hey. I hate to butt in, but and I think I know the answer to this, Oak, but would you like to extend the conversation by 30 seconds? Sure. Let me ask you, what do you do with your free time? Like, how are you? Do you feel like you're you're satisfied with your... Because I have a lot of time anxiety. Do you ever worry about using the time? Uh, or... 
do you feel like you have good productive <laughs> hobbies and good outlets and stuff and that you're a well-adjusted person? I, I mean, I would hope. <laughs> you would hope so. Okay. So, but do you feel okay. that way? That's important so, though. Cause I, I, I'm saying I can tell yes. you right off the bat. I don't feel that confident about my use of time. What do you do with it? What do you, how do you spend your time? Um, I have, I mean, spent a lot of time embroidering recently, which is kind of a grandma thing to say, but it's fun. No, yeah. I, and is that something you can do like while watching TV or listen to a podcast or something? Because to me, that's the... Yes. Yeah. While listening to this podcast wow. specifically. Very nice. Yeah. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and that's time. Okay. That was now, a cute. Just to give a little review here, Will sounds like you kind of grilled her. <laughs> <laughs> that question, that question, literally took twelve years off my life. Yeah, it took a while off my life. What do you do with your free time? Are you a valuable person? No, that's not what society? I said. That's not what I said. Will's fucking berating. Are you gonna waste my time? Are you gonna waste my time? <laughs> I waste my own time. That's right. That's right. Um, well, Oak, I, it's finally time for you. <laughs> to pick one of our three eligible single bachelors that are ready to go. Um, can I consult my dad? Yeah, we uh, please consult your dad. What do you think? Well, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> are these the guys always here in the morning that are just laughing? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like in the other part of the house, and they're just laughing, and I'm like. Yes. They which, must have a good life. To the podcast. So much. <laughs> they must have a good yeah, life. He said that's, that's so nice. <laughs> so the the last gentleman you spoke with, there seemed to be some more conversation to be had. Yeah, There's... I'm feeling the same way. All right. Yeah, okay. I think I don't. I, I've lost track. I feel like we're in a three card money. I can't remember who was three and who was two and who was one. <laughs> Wow. You're talking about bachelor number two. I just have one important question. Do you love the sea? <laughs> Sorry, and and just to will will asked. It seems like he you didn't quite hear him, but he asked, "Do you no. do you love the sea?" <laughs> I I I rock with the sea. Correct. As much as the average person. <laughs> All right, she rocks with the sea. Well, bachelor number two seems like you've won this round. I don't think it's really a competition, but uh, yeah, nice chatting with you and your dad. Would you uh, would you care for Will Whitworth's real phone number? <laughs> I mean, I'd be down if he was down. Hey, Will, would you like me to give your personal phone number to the Bachelorette? Sure, why not? All right, this is a this is a perfect person first. I mean, I could say it. You don't have to look it up. <laughs> I'm looking it up. <laughs> My, I know how it's just like a kid who's like had an elevator button. He's like, I want to press it. I want to press it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Will, could you just give your phone number and we will, of course, bleep it out for the listener. <laughs> Did you get that, Dad? He got it. <laughs> yep. All right. Oak, thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. And we hope that you lovebirds convene. You and Dad have the absolute best day. Daddy Oak, you've been an absolute treasure on the show. Thanks for thanks for helping with the call. My privilege. Thank you. <laughs> All thanks, right. Guys. Bye. 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 Wow. Will. Wow. What that a roller coaster. Went so fucking well. That was unbelievable. That was crazy. Dad. I couldn't believe how down he was. He was so he was down. down. And unbelievable. Funny. Well, you could tell he like loves his daughter. Yeah, he it's really loves his daughter. That's the vibe I was getting. And you could tell he doesn't want grandkids. <laughs> well, I think he's just like making that kind of joke that men like to make where they're like uncomfortable with the idea of someone plowing their daughter. You know? I feel like I flew too close to the sun with yeah, rabbits. Well, you you yes, you yes, oh, I can't did. believe you said that. I, yeah. I was, Jay, on was, that, was that the moment where you wanted to like fall out of your chair? That's the moment yes. I want to fall out of my chair. That, I was sweating so much during that. <laughs> I'm sweating sure. so much in this costume. Sweating it right is now. insane. I mean, this thing is insanely hot. Unbelievable. I thought you guys all did. Do sailors really wear these? No. And I'm sorry. I feel like I brought back the, the, my C bit a little too soon. Like I was too ready to go, and he was. I interrupted them, and I, I feel bad about that. It's okay. You, know? you couldn't have done um, worse than Eric. 
Well, that I is... Didn't, I didn't get anything out of that that I wanted. I, I will say... <laughs> neither, that, neither, neither did Eric, they. it looked like you were in some sort of fugue state. You're like, hi, <laughs> sir. How are you? <laughs> hi, sir. However, do you know Nate? <laughs> Like, and he said no, and you go. I you sh- I think you know. Nate. You insist. I think he was bullshitting because he knows, he knows I caught him red-handed. Yeah, he knows. He knows Nate. what he did at the barbecue. He knows. <laughs> he knows what he did at the barbecue. Mister Oak, Mister and Mrs. Oak, <laughs> Professor. Sorry. Yeah. How's dating been going for you guys, IRL? Before we get to the next call, huh? Good. Eric's thumbs up. Will. Yeah, doing good. Doing fine. That's awesome. No, I don't want to elaborate. Jay, how's it going? Fine. All right. A lot of juicy details. There. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of personal sharing going on. By the way, I will say, I will say, if 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 Oak has any sense of showmanship, he will get a text while we are sitting here on this podcast. Yeah, Will, you'll have to update me. Okay, I guess I should check my phone. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, not seeing it. Yeah, she I- must have got the number wrong. <laughs> I mean, you said it really quickly and didn't give her much chance to write it down, but yeah. Yeah, the giving the number over the phone thing is like not... I know. love it. It's my favorite part of the show. <laughs> That's so fucking funny to me. Okay. Hi, um, I'm calling in for the Bachelor episode. I'm 23 and I've Yikes. never been in a relationship, but I'm looking for love. I'm an it's engineer an and I'm looking for a male wife who can just take care of me. Please call me back. Thank you. That's right. A male wife? Just somebody to take care of. Somebody that has maternal caring features, somebody, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Someone chill. who's ready to sort of um, shower them with affection and make sure that everything's taken care of, giving you with the utmost care. I think that each of you three boys are the perfect example of a loving, caring, gentle male wife. I mean, I'm good at making chicken and grilled cheeses. Jay, we're not on the call yet. <laughs> Jay, hey, Jay, I want you to, I'll, I'll say, say a code energy. word. I'm going to say, Jay, go. <laughs> and I want you to say that fact because it's a killer. All right. All right. I'm good at making chicken and grilled cheeses. And I want you to back pocket that yeah. for the call. I have a lot of subscription services to like Netflix. That's actually really good. <laughs> That's good too. He it's knows really what the good. ladies want. That's right. 23. Age gap much? Hello. Hello. You called perfect person because you are looking for love. And we have three oh my God. eligible sailors <laughs> that are ready and on shore leave, ready to <laughs> shower you with affection and maybe win your heart because it's the Bachelor episode. <laughs> Oh my God, you're kidding me. So uh, how you doing before we get started? And um, what are you looking for in a lover? I'm looking for someone who can take care of me and support me and just be a kind person, funny, all that stuff. Sure. Okay. And age wise, what are you looking for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm 23, but yeah, sure. anywhere up to 30. <laughs> That's a tough. That's tough. That is really tough. Well, I'll tell yeah. you what. That's thing. tough. That's I'll tell really you tough. What, that sort of truncates some of our guests. But I'll tell, you know what? We'll do. It's good to practice. So we'll just yeah. call this one a sort of practice yeah. round. Sure, yeah. Sure. You know, just Perfect. yeah, because we got all thirty plus. <laughs> so is she playing up or are we playing down? No, we're not playing anything. <laughs> no, we're not doing role play. Here. Like I shouldn't be me at twenty six or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, you shouldn't be pretending to be twenty six. We'll just hey, call man. this one a gimme. Will of 26. Man, I can't wait to longboard. <laughs> man, man, have you guys seen that new Italian job movie? Man, have you guys... I do love that movie. Have you guys ever had an IPA? <laughs> I love it's, craft this beer. This is a pretty good impression. That's this is really bad. good. It's not bad. So we need to give you a fake name, I and really it's got to be coming you, from Eric. Birch. Birch. We are going to treat this one as a practice love round, that. so that way you're sort of getting an idea of what's out there bachelor-wise, and these guys are sort of getting their flirting techniques down with you <laughs> as a test subject. How does that feel, Maybe she Birch? gives us pointers. Oh, that's good. Yes, Birch, this is like when your friend is like, okay, actually, you're ugly because of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
So you're going to be able to give these guys what? pointers. If what you was ever that? Said, if you said that to me, Miles, <laughs> no, I would what tackle you. What the hell you. did you just say? Tackle, it's like ground. Birch is sort of a friend of the show, so <laughs> he's going to be able to give you pointers that a lover in the wild would never. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure. Brutal honesty. Got yes. Brutal exactly. Brutal That's what we need. I mean, That's a great a, a great quality. A real thing. All right. Well, the, yeah. the date didn't start yet. Pal. <laughs> the date hasn't started yet, pal. First of all, we got to make sure that uh, Birch has a good idea of who you guys are. So I'm going to set the scene for you guys here. Uh, you and Bachelor number, you're going to start with Bachelor number two. And you guys are at an ice cream shop. It is 11 p.m. Here we fucking go. It is 11 p.m. And Will has showed up blackout drunk. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> to be clear, that is not something I would. Uh, hey, like hey, 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 hey! He showed up in a group of people and <laughs> he seemingly had forgotten about the date. But then he turns to them and goes, "Guys, I gotta do this." <laughs> they they look at you and yeah. they say, "We don't know him. We don't know him. He just he, attached to us. Yeah, he walked in with us, but we don't know him." So Will is going to approach <laughs> you at the table. You guys had planned to meet on this special date, and Will, take it away. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, how are you? You look um unwell. <laughs> yeah, no, I forgot about this, and then I ended up uh, drinking maybe fifteen to eighteen beers, and so I, I am so sorry. I, I kind of think we should reschedule, but uh, uh, while we're Great. here, you know, uh, let's just get ice cream anyway. I, I want to drink and eat and and enjoy life. Uh, oh. Tell me, tell me about yourself. <laughs> Yeah, this new this new ice cream place. They have a robot order machine. It's really yeah. unpleasant mm -hmm. sounding, and I, it makes me not like being in the world, you know. But um, uh, yeah, what's uh, what's new with you? Are you? Aren't you gonna like get up and like buy me ice cream? Oh or right, yeah. Like, no, I, we I have to. Care. Do you have a flavor that you know you like? Or, uh, <laughs> for me, my go-to flavor is <laughs> it's vanilla chip. No, that's not a real flavor. <laughs> Sorry. Vanilla that's, that's chip. That's not a flavor. Vanilla chip is not a flavor. That's what your friend named Chip is, and your white friend named Chip in the friend group. Wait, Have you met vanilla chip? Yes, and it's, that's Charles, the white guy. Oh, yeah. That's that's great. I like vanilla chip. No. Um. Uh, okay, but yeah, let's get some ice cream. Do you have a favorite flavor? You did this. I do. I love chocolate. You like a regular uh, chocolate? Regular yeah. chocolate, like no, no, no bells and whistles. Oh no, no, nope. Very plain. Okay, and what do you do with your time <laughs> while we wait in line for the ice cream bartender who doesn't seem to be showing up? <laughs> um, in my free time, yeah. um, I like to read. I like to paint. Um, Ooh, what do you paint? Very artsy <clears throat> stuff. Um, I'm working on a painting at home right now of little mushrooms. Do you guys want to order? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, we do need to order. Thank you. Um, yes. Any ice cream for the lady? Oh my God. I'll, I'll yeah, order. are you going to order for me? Or? Yeah, yeah, no, Come of course. On, Sorry. Order I, for the lady. I, I thought you hadn't said what you wanted yet. Um, I guess she wants a regular <laughs> chocolate because that's her favorite flavor, and I would like a vanilla chip, please. <laughs> I don't know if we have that. Let me go check. Okay, thank you for looking. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sometimes I don't have what I want, and I just Thank tell them to check looking. in the back. You know, it makes me feel better. Um, I've never heard of that. Sorry, we're out. You're out of vanilla chips? Yeah, we're out. This is unbelievable. That'll be forty-seven fifteen For one ice cream? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Aren't you going to treat her? I'm happy to treat her, but this seems like highway robbery. <laughs> Feels pretty disrespectful not to pay for your day. Okay, I'll pay, but I'm going to be pissed. Okay. <laughs> and the tip screen, and sorry, I'm going to flip the tablet around. The tip screen's right there, and you can mark 15, 20, or 45. <laughs> I guess I'm doing 15 to keep my cost low. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> you charged me $30 extra at least. I'm just a minimum wage employee. Well, this place is a bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you! We, okay, okay, hey, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry, Birch. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm getting into a fight with this guy. And that's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Birch. Wait, wait. By the way, it was surreal to not hear his real voice. 
I had real. to take my headphone off at one point to like to make sure I was alive. <laughs> that was shocking. Birch, how do you think that went? Why don't you give sort of a review for Bachelor number two? Here? Uh, it was not the best. <laughs> Definitely like starting off with you drunk and kind of wasted. Okay, again. Didn't set the vibe. You forgot be- about my face. <laughs> <laughs> this was what I was endowed with in the scene. In improv, you're not allowed to say no. You just have to be like, fine, you want me to be the biggest loser in the world? I guess I am, you know? So that's what I, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. But I will, I'll, I'll take accountability for showing hey, up Will, hey, will, like hey, will now's it maybe a time for you to listen. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is when you heard this outrageous price, you didn't think it was worth it. So that makes me think you don't think that I'm worth it. Oh, wow. See, here's the thing. Um, I, I, I just, I feel like if you're getting an ice cream and it's more than $10, this <laughs> is something to be concerned about. I don't know if you're made of money, but I am not. Okay. <laughs> By the way, we're out of the scene right now. He's sorry. Not, I'm going to cut you now. off. He's Will. himself. I'm going to cut you off. Will, because I'm, I'm concerned for the safety of the caller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, in my opinion, it shows good financial reasoning and fortitude that I'm willing to stand my ground. It's not about. There's nothing sexier than being fiscal. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing sexier than having cash. So, uh, it was a stinker. Let's move on <laughs> to bachelor number three. Uh, oh, here we go. Birch, um, what's a place that you would like to go on a first date with someone? Interesting, you didn't do that for me. <laughs> Hey man, you've already got a phone you number. Already Sorry, did you already it. gave a phone number. Yeah, yeah, Birch. What would you tell? What would, what would you think if I told you that he won the last round? That's right. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I agree. Um, well, uh, what's it? What's a place that you might go on a first date there, Birch? I'd say probably like mini golf. All right. So it is uh, one twenty-seven a.m. <laughs> And you have chosen to meet Eric. You guys, um, actually, you met at a bowling alley. Eric seemed to be loitering there by himself. And uh, he slipped you a piece of paper. At first, you were worried it was a ransom note. But then it turns out it was his number. You decided to go on a date with him. And you've made an appointment with him to meet at a mini golf. Uh, Eric is an hour early. And it's clear that he's played sort of a full round of golf by himself to practice. Um, And uh, you approach him. He's wearing denim. (laughs) Like all denim? Yeah, he's he's wearing jeans. He's wearing a coat. He's wearing denim shoes somehow. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That's That's a choice. Um, yeah. Hi, how's it going? Hey, Birch, how are you? It's, uh, it, it, my name's Eric. I don't remember, I don't remember if we exchanged names, but I have your name. Yeah, you know my name, so yes. that's not weird. No, no, it's not. I agree. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you didn't get, you didn't read the full note I gave you, I guess, the all denim request. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, okay. maybe next time goes well we'll see i love that enthusiasm yeah absolutely next time that would be great that'd be great yeah um so do you putt putt uh of course i putt putt i love it okay um are you any good (laughs) um i guess we'll just have to see like let's go let's go play around all right let's do it here we go can i play through (laughs) sorry what was that (laughs) can i play through I'm just, um, me and my mom, we usually play at this course. Did you say, can I play two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, um. I just got out of a <laughs> hospital. I was hit by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was hit by a truck. I broke every bone in my body, but now I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Better than ever. Birch, can you, which Birch, would you mind stepping over here with me away from the little girl for a second? Yep. Mm-hmm. What do you fucking think is going on with this kid? I have no idea. I can't understand her. I can barely understand her. Do we tell her to fuck off or what? <laughs> can you understand like... me now? Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Jesus. We were, we were talking in private, little girl. And by the way, Birch, can you give the little, <laughs> Birch, can you give the little girl a fake name for us? <laughs> um, let's call her Bonsai. Bonsai. They call me Bonsai. Sorry. <laughs> that sounded suspiciously like my friend Miles. Okay. Sorry. 
I had to clear my throat. <laughs> Make all, the butts. all right, bonsai. Uh, we'll we'll let you play. We'll let you play with us. Yeah. Do you mind keeping score? Bonsai. 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 Did she leave? Bonsai. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot your turn. <laughs> Bonsai, would you mind keeping score? <laughs> I can't remember. Well, you got hit by a truck, so I we, we're going to forgive you for that. They say my brain was rattled. <laughs> but you're fine now, was it? They gave me a lot of time. And- but you're fine. That's all now. they gave you. That's all. They- <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm just here. Who the hell are you? I'm just, I, uh, I'm just here to support my guy Eric. But I'm just in the bushes watching. Thanks, this man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, yeah, bachelor Sorry. Number two. Do you Sorry. guys want some of the pills they gave me for the hospital? Tylenol. I'll take some, but I'm not gonna have them now. I'll just put them in my pocket. I took some of them from the morgue. <laughs> so, Birch, why do they have pills uh, in the morgue? <laughs> Birch, I feel like maybe we should not, <laughs> maybe let Bonsai play with us. Yeah, maybe not. Why don't you and I get out of here? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do that. All right. Your place or mine. And I, mine is a van. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we'll go to my place. All right. Cool. And scene. Okay. Wow. 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 It didn't seem like it was going well. And then it, it didn't. ended kind of with the sexy implication. Eric, that was very impressive. Now, uh, Birch, <laughs> how do you think that went? How he handled the sort of ethical conundrum? Uh, I honestly think he handled it pretty well. He was able to like assess the situation and make sure I was feeling okay with everything, kind of pulled me aside. So that felt very nice. Wow, great. Yeah, Eric, very very positive. yeah. I did, I did. That's what I did. I definitely, yeah, no, I agree. And that was all intended. I thought that was really brave of Eric <laughs> to t- talk to the little girl who got shattered by the bus. <laughs> now, came back more healed than before. Came back even better than before. <laughs> Now, you've got one final date here, um, and it's going to be with Bachelorino number un, Jay Putnam, okay. the human stallion. <laughs> he's a centaur. I like that. I like that he's nickname. A, he's a centaur. <laughs> um, now, um, could you give me another location that might be fun to have a first date? What about, like, a concert? A concert? Like- <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boy. perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yep. you uh, yep. you match with Jay on Tinder, and um, mm-hmm. and he messaged you a ton. And at first, <laughs> <laughs> at first you think you're not into it, but then he says one special little uh, comment that makes you laugh, and it is, "Oh man, the Marlins are great this year." And you think that's super funny. Well, it's related to sailors. Because it's related to sailors. That's what I was thinking. So you guys agree to meet at a local band show. Um, and uh, you guys arrive What's at the band actually... Called? The band is called, of course, uh, with Eric? Cool, cool but not fun. Sorry, cool but not fun. Thank you, Will. <laughs> I was going to say steaming creamers, so that's better. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely down with cool but not fun. Yeah, definitely not steaming creamers. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Christ. Steaming creamers opened. Right, right. Yeah, but, we were like, opener. openers, but we were like, honestly, sounds fucked up. Honestly, they don't sound that good. Like, let's just go to the Let's, let's go, go at go eight. I know doors are at seven. Doors let's go at eight. I know somebody who's at the. Pl- I know somebody at doors. So it's yeah, fine. We'll be fine. It'll be good. So you guys arrive and you go to the back. Um, and at first, Jay's being. You go where? <laughs> to the back where the bar is. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you go to the back to help the band bring their gear in. You realize I'm a roadie. Jay's a roadie. <laughs> Jay's working the show, and you realize that he's using this as an opportunity. You guys go over to the bar, and uh, Jay brings over a couple drinks before the mm-hmm. band goes on. And Jay, take it away. I, uh, Birch, hey. So great to hey, finally meet. Oh. Thanks for hanging out. It's going to run by the show really quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I got us a couple drinks here. I didn't know exactly what you want, so I brought four. Um, we've got okay. a beer, um. a marg, <laughs> got a Negroni, <laughs> and an Old Fashioned. <laughs> Is there one? I, I just thought maybe I, I want to make sure you got what you liked. Um. Well, I don't really drink, so... Oh. 
You know what? I'm so sorry. I also, I forgot about the fifth one. I have, uh, it's balancing on my shoulder. It's a water. It's oh, a, wow. It's so thoughtful. You're so welcome. Or a soda and bitters could also be an, it's on my other shoulder. <laughs> so, you know. Wow, have crazy. you listened to Cool, cool But just, Not, sorry? Crazy how they're just like balancing on your shoulders there. Like, thanks for very saying impressive. that. Thank you. Thank oh my you. God, Jay. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Oh, hey. We used to date. (laughs) Sorry. Hi. Hi. What's your name? This is Birch. Oh, Birch. It's so nice to meet you. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Birch, this is Pine. Sorry. This is Pine? Yeah. Uh, Pine, it's great to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. I haven't seen you since you bent me over in the gas station. I don't. Sorry, let me clear my throat. My voice is a little hard to understand. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, uh, Birch, let's let's go over to here. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Okay. <laughs> Birch, so tell me, are you like a big music fan? Yeah, a pretty big fan. I what? go to a lot of concerts and stuff. Yeah. What was the last show you went to? I think I saw a local band most recently, but I'm going to see Olivia Rodrigo soon, and I'm very excited. Incredible, the new record. Absolutely. Yeah. All hitters. One song, Jay. Uh, yeah. All American Bitch. <laughs> That's the nice. first song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a class. I mean, she's just, she's an icon for our age. I hey, think. guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Jay? Wait, wait. Is this a different act? <laughs> I used to date oh, him. Who the hell is this? My name is Isabel. Okay. Hey, Isabel, it's really nice to see you. It's nice to me to see you, babe. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Hi. It's Are nice you to... single? Is this your sister? No, I'm actually I'm actually on a date. This is Birch. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. This guy is a god. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Uh, I'll, catch, I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. That was a little embarrassing. I'm, I'm sorry, Birch. I yeah, apologize. what did what did she mean by that? What, is, what oh, does that mean? Man, I I would have to ask her. I don't really know. I I love to cook. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize all these people were going to be here. They're they're really lovely. It just didn't work out. But I'm really <laughs> excited. I'm really excited that we we continue get to continue to hang out. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it was a little awkward at first, but like. Yeah, like I just want to see where this connection goes Me and too. get to know you more. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Is that you, Jay? Hi. Yeah. Hey, it's good to see you. How are you? You gave me the best <laughs> of my entire <laughs> life. Did you self censor? <laughs> that's, that's very kind. You gave me the best uh, of my <laughs> whole entire life. <laughs> that's that's very kind. Thank you. This is uh this is Birch. Oh my god, are you guys on a date? Uh we are, yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can I talk to you for one second, girl? Me? No, 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 no. You stay over here, sweetheart. Well, Birch, you don't if if you Oh yeah. Okay. As long as This yeah, is girl sure. talk. Come on, me and Birch are having fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you need another water while you're gone? I don't need any water, I'm honey. Sorry, I was talking to Birch. <laughs> But I'd be happy. I'd be happy to give you something. I, you well. know, you know, I am oh, sopping. I don't need any water, baby. So, okay, Birch, let's have some girl talk. Okay, yeah. Now what? tell me what's wrong with him. No, nothing's wrong with him, girl. The craziest thing about him, though, is that he's super smart. <laughs> Don't let him get away. <laughs> Are you ready to rock and roll? That's right. Okay, let's go back to him. What's the name of our band, buddy? We are cool but not fun. And we are a local band, but we immigrated from the UK. Five, <laughs> four, right. three, two, one. You know it's going to be a little time for you. I, I forgot to tell you, I, I actually had, I had dated the lead singer for a little bit. Gave me the head that oh, you what? want me to have. Uh, so tell me, uh, Birch, like, do you have any siblings? 
And scene. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Wow. That was miles all along. That was a stunt. Uh, sparks were flying. <laughs> sparks were flying. Sparks were certainly flying there, yeah. Jay. Yeah. Really good. Birch, how'd you feel about that at the end there? A lot of ex-girlfriends coming up to you, sort of showing that Jay that he's coveted. Yeah, that was definitely a lot. Um, but yeah, it's good to know that even his exes still find him to be a good guy. So very yeah, positive we sign. Do. <laughs> They're they're yeah, really they're really oh. <laughs> they're, they're really lovely people. They're Terrifying. really wonderful people. <laughs> All right, Birch. Well, you know what time it is. It's got to be the only time to find love. <laughs> We've obviously mm -hmm. been on a spectacular series of dates here, and you know that only one can be the bachelor that you choose. I didn't time it right. That you choose. <laughs> that <was crazy>. oh, <laughs> Sorry. Miles never used this thing. Yeah. I don't, I, it's the first time. Give us last and then okay. give us first because second is going to be obvious. Hello? <laughs> Wait, what did you just... What? <laughs> Birch. Well, what are you... That again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And... Wait, what? Why don't you tell us who's in last place of the three dates? You got Will from the ice cream shop, okay, okay. Eric at the mini yeah. golf, and Jay at the venue with the X's. Uh, last place for sure is the ice cream shop for because sure. he was wasted. Yeah. He's awful. That's that fair. That makes sense. He was yeah. hostile yeah. to the minimum wage employee. No, <laughs> you tried to overcharge me. $43 for one $47. ice cream? $47. That's fucking it was, crazy. Yeah, it was $47 and like 10 cents with a 45% tip. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Absolutely valid. Absolutely fair. Um, all right. Well, now drum roll, please, <gasps> for the number one bachelor that Birch is to have. My number one choice is Jay. Yeah! yeah! Birch, we had something going at that mini golf before the little kid showed up. Come before on. Before the little kid who got <laughs> shattered by the bus showed up. <laughs> Um, Birch, that but was back better than ever. Well, Birch, thank you so much for joining us on this test run because obviously you're 23 and of these course. are all 30 plus gentlemen. We're old, we're, we're old men. And we're not old only men. is she 23, she specifically said, I don't want to date anyone. She more specifically older than didn't want to date anyone 30. Yeah, if she yeah, had said yeah, uh, yeah. No, yeah. No, uh, no older than 40, it would yeah, be different. It would be fine. Story. We would have had a different choice to make. But that. I think we all <laughs> learned a lot and I think that the guys got better at flirting and I think that you sort of practiced how to fall in love. <laughs> Is that what happened? Totally. <laughs> it's good to practice because that moment when oh, it happens, sure. you're, it's going to bowl you over like a ton of bricks. Like a bowling alley. It's going to bowl you over like a bowling alley. Yeah. yeah. Well, Birch, any last mm -hmm. thoughts on dating before I let you go? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Birch. You've been a fantastic guest. <laughs> Thank you, Birch. Bye, Birch. All right. Bye. Literally flawless. Yeah, that Perfect. was great. Oh, and I should say that Oak did text me. Oh! <gasps> What yeah, did she say? Really? Uh, she said, this is it, Oak it, in quotes, in quotation mark. In quotes. In quotes. <laughs> in quotes. In the, in in the French. In Will, is, Will is feeling cool, cool. Okay. okay. She said, this is Oak in quotes, laughing face emoji. Oh, my. Well, where was the where, area code local? Uh, I haven't checked that part. Oh, I'm assuming my. she lives in another part of the country. Probably. Oh, uh, it's possible. Probably. In which case, feel free to forward her number. <laughs> Yeah, Eric what I would have given it for delivery like, for her dad to have texted you first. Hey, Oak. That would have been so. It's that would have been Oak. really. Oh, you should have texted. It's Mr. Oak. That it's Professor so Oak. Funny. Actually, he's a professor. It, well, no, Professor Oak from, from Pokemon. Pokemon. You uh, fucking loser! Don't know about Pokemon. <laughs> Put some respect on Charmander's name. That's a really good point. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I'm, I'm getting fever. sick. I'm out. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm getting sick hearing that. Well, guys, we made it to the end. Yeah. The end of the line. Totally. It's been a long day. We've it's had been some guests. <laughs> no, it's only it's been a long day, by the way, and I'm literally getting on the road driving to New York right after this. Are you really? It's yes. crazy. Eric. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, boys, uh, another fucking phenomenal lap. Yes. Yeah. Um, just thought I'd sort of uh, get the single perspective from you boys on... <laughs> It's been a while. On love and relationships and, and, and the closeness of another person. Um, <laughs> how are you guys feeling after today? 
Good. I'm sweaty. I should, I'm quite sweaty. Dude. Yeah. I can't wait to take this sailor out. Yeah, yeah, this thing I can't wait to get back to the sea. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to get back on board. I can't wait to take my sailor outfit off and get back on that boat. <laughs> uh, Shortly, ding, 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 ding. They're calling us back. <laughs> dong, ding, dong, uh. ding, dong. No, I feel good. I mean, I. It's always nice to talk to the the nice people who listen to the show and uh, to pretend yeah. to you know find love or whatever we we're doing on here. Do you think you uh, did find love today? I mean, Oak texted me. So Oak texted you. You got to text me. What are you going to say back? I'm going to say, hey. <laughs> Why don't you do it right now? Great talking with you. Your, your dad was a great sport. What state do you live in? <laughs> What's your address? What's your address? I'll Zach swing address. by. I'll yeah. swing by. I yeah. am so curious where, where they this person lives. I'm so curious. You weirdo. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, it's been another Banger Bachelor episode. Uh, thanks so much for coming on. At Jay Putnam underscore, if you want to get Bang Jay. At W Whitworth, if you want to get a little piece of Will. Big post coming June 1st. June 1 is coming up. And if it's late, Will, I will be living. This year, it shouldn't be late. It shouldn't be late. Well, we'll see. And at Striff Larrick, if you want to say, hey, Eric, I'd like you to take me to the ice cream store. And lifeandslimes.com if you want to go see an off-Broadway show. Hell yeah. Lifeandslimes.com if you want to see a Broadway show. Anything else to add before we go, guys? Three, two, one. Thanks, Thanks for coming. I said coming. Ugh. Perfection's only a call away. That was a headgum podcast.